My little best friend was so excited to go to Chicago and get her hair done. She just knew it was going to be fire. I did too. But then this, this happened. This is why I cannot do these girlies that do hair today. Like, it's a no for me. So, I'm sorry that the top is cut out, but it was just me saying, hi, my name is Tia. I got your number from my cousin. She's a client of yours. I was wondering if you have an opening this Saturday. Now, mind you, it took her forever to send these messages back. She was like, hey, what style? I'm like, brace to the back. More and more hours go past. She sends, who's your cousin? Uh, are you trying to make the money? Why do you need to know who my cousin is? But okay, I sent it. Um, I sent it anyway. The Mylan TT. Okay, you got that. She's like, okay, send me a picture of the style. I'm like, okay, I send it. Okay, so boom. She's like, I have sat. I have Sunday. I'm like, okay, cool. My baby really wants her hair done, so whatever. And we'll still be up here on Saturday. I mean Sunday, so it's good. I'm like, okay, that's great. Do you have the hair? What time, you know, is good for you? What's the price? And I'm like, I'll need the address because I don't remember exactly where I dropped her off last time, which I don't know where I dropped my cousin off last time. I just knew it was Cal City. Hours and hours go past again. She's like, what color hair? I'm like, one beer, dark brown. She's like, okay, the price is $150. I have the hair. You just have to come washed. And she sent her address. I'm like, okay. That sounds good. What time do you want us to come? She's never giving me a time. Once again, being unprofessional. I don't know anything. She's not sending me any, you know, information. Like, how do I get there? So she's like, my apologies. Come at 11, please. I'm like, okay, that's cool. She's like, the next message I get is, hey, I'm running late. My apologies. I'm not, I'm not, uh, listen, I'm not vexed by any of it. I'm, I'm cool. You know? 11.30, I'll be done, and I'll be ready for you. Then she says, I'm sorry, I can't today. I have had a death in the family, which I was so sorry about that. Like, you had a death in the family. No, nobody wants to go through that. Okay, cool. All right, fine. She's like, I don't want to book a client tomorrow if you want to come. I'm like, um, yeah. At this point, I'm like, everything is messed up. I'm getting ready to go home, and I just was like, forget it. I'm like, my condolences. She was like, asked me if I still wanted the appointment. I'm like, no, I live in Wisconsin. You know, I'll, I'll book later. So basically, I ended up doing my daughter's hair on my own. We went to the beauty supply store, grabbed some hair. It ended up, I only ended up paying like $30. So this was better. But I can't do it. Like, these ladies are just so unprofessional. It's like, do you want to make the money or not? Like, come on.